匠新对话是亚洲金融论坛全新的演讲系列，其中一个主要议题为金融科技。FinTech Forge 董事总经理兼 Next Money 到 ORG 主席 JP Nichols 担任主题演讲嘉宾。演讲中，他相信创新能创造价值。JP, thanks indeed for joining us today. And with FinTech Forge, you're really thinking about creating value. How do you create that value? Well, ultimately, the market decides, right? If it's valuable, the market will will tell us. And you know what you're referring to is what I talked about on stage. And I think it's important that we have a definition of innovation. That is, innovation is implementing new ideas that create value. And I think most people, if I ask people, what does innovation mean to you? They get the new ideas part. Everybody understands that. But number one, they've got to be implemented. You can't just have the ideas. You actually have to put them out into the marketplace, and they need to create value. But that second part can't come from us. That comes from the market, right? We ultimately either people adopt these ideas or they don't. And so that's why it's important that organizations adopt a test and learn mentality, so that we replace our opinions with facts as we get data in the marketplace. So where it comes to technology, then as technology is rolled out, you use that technology, but it is, you don't rely on that technology altogether. Is that the way you're looking at it? Well, I, I think the technology、uh, is just a tool. So. I, I've seen some pretty amazing things that are really low technology, and、uh, some pretty amazing technology that ultimately didn't matter.、Uh, you know, take something like the Segway scooter.、Uh, right, that's amazing technology, a gyroscope that that keeps one upright,、uh, but it has very limited use cases now. On the other hand, you do have technology like blockchain technology, which is all about putting different parties together. That sort of thing is going to be revolutionary for the future. I think so, and and、uh, you know I I think it's directionally correct.、Uh, one of my favorite quotes is from Bill Gates, who says, "We tend to overestimate the amount of change that will happen in two years and underestimate what will happen in ten." So ultimately, what blockchain and what kinds of UK, use cases and what institutions are going to win, I don't know yet. But directionally, it's correct. So in the ideas department, and certainly where technology is concerned, where is Asia? And is Asia, the Asia Pacific going to be the place where a lot of these new ideas, the new business, if you like, is going to be arriving? Depending on where we look in Asia, we have this this、uh, push and pull of very well developed infrastructure、um, that's kind of pushing against the rise of technology. We also have a number of developing markets where the technology has leapfrogged、uh, the, the the traditional、um, infrastructure of central banks and bank branches and so on. So, what I think makes Asia most interesting is、uh, finding the intersection between the two. And where it comes to Hong Kong, of course. We have been through the sort of conventional route of banking and finance, but do you think we can become the sort of fintech of the future? I think that、um, what works against you is what works against all of the、um, well-developed countries. Is you have when you have enough infrastructure in place, you have forces that want to maintain the status quo. Now, on the other hand, I think number one, your position in, in China and a gateway to. Uh, Shenzhen and, and other places is、uh, certainly an advantage. The other thing that I think is, is an advantage is what I mentioned is just your global history of being the crossroads of the world and certainly crossroads of the East.